上最強の安さ2万円で新登場どんどん近づくセガサターンセガ Here we have the Hori Real Arcade VF. This stick was made in 1995 for the Sega Saturn. It's a three button stick as it was built for Virtua Fighter in mind. There was a later revision released in 1997 called the Real Arcade VF Dash, and it was made for Fighter's Mega Mix. You can see it there behind in the orange box. Now, because of the three buttons, it's not good for every single fighter on the Sega Saturn, but most, if not all, the 3D fighters. Work really well. But I'm also interested in the shooters, platformers, and puzzle games. Because of the three button layout, I figured this would have really great compatibility with the Sega Genesis library, because it's really hard to find a good quality stick to use with that system. For example, look at this official arcade power stick by Sega. And it has a membrane lever. So, I decided to mod the VF stick for use with the Sega Genesis and retain the functionality with the Sega Saturn. The only way I could think to do this would be to do a dual PCB stick. So, here you can see that I've mapped the connections for the stick, and the buttons are the larger solder points. And then I've mapped the traces on the PCB of the Genesis controller. This controller's casing was really messed up, but the PCB was in great shape. At this point, I soldered a ribbon cable between both PCBs to connect them. And here are both PCBs sandwiched together, secured in the case. I secured the Genesis PCB by dremeling a slot in one of the supports, then adding a screw and a zip tie. I then made a hole for the Genesis cable to fit through. And lastly, I needed a switch to change inputs. Originally, I didn't plan on having a switch. But I was having issues where only certain buttons would work for each system until I added a switch that grounded each other board out while in use. Then I just zip tied the cables together and we're done. Now, how are the buttons and lever on the real arcade VF? They're pretty good. It's not Sanwa, it's Hori from 25 years ago, but you know what? It still feels really great. I really like the form factor of this stick. It fits really well in the lap, and it has a metal top plate. And there's the button and wire connections when everything is closed up. Okay, let's plug it in and check it out. I'm going to show three different games here that I've been playing lately with the stick, and for reference, I'm going to keep the stick in view. All right, the first game here is Layer Section for the Sega Saturn. This is the Japanese release. I'm playing it on my Ikigami TM2017 R in Tate orientation. This game has a retro vibe even for the time. It's not bullet hell like other popular shooters from Psycho or Cave that were on the Saturn in this era, though it does tastefully use some 3D4 effects. It has an interesting foreground background mechanic where the lasers for your main gun shoot the foreground targets and you have lock on lasers that shoot the background targets. It's quite satisfying. The 2D graphics and mech designs are very detailed and that's paired with abundant sprite scaling. And the soundtrack, quite typical of Taito games from the era, is amazing. The game also has a surprisingly cinematic feel to it with the level transitions. Next is Battle Mania Daiginjo on the Mega Drive. I'm playing this on my JVC AV32D502. This is a quite late release for the Mega Drive. It never came out here in North America, but this is a very fun game to play with a really cool aesthetic. I like it a lot. The next game is Glay Lancer for the Mega Drive. I'm also playing this on my JVC D series. This is another Japanese Mega Drive exclusive. I've only started playing this game recently, but I've been liking it a lot. It feels like it's probably in the top tier of Genesis Mega Drive shooters. 
It has a great soundtrack, really satisfying shooting, a lot of different weapon options. You can even choose the formation of your guns, so you can have them roll and shoot in different directions. It's really cool. But as you can see from the footage, the stick works perfectly on my Sega Genesis. It still retains all its functionality with the Sega Saturn. But really what's cool is this stick feels native to the Sega Genesis. The three button layout works perfectly with that entire library. And after using it so much, I'm finding it hard to go back to a controller for any arcade style games like shooters and puzzle games and that sort of thing. I'm really happy with how this mod turned out.